The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted a chart or a, a little, uh, a couple of paragraphs here from a book called The Golf is Not a Perfect Game. Uh, it's from Rich Anderson. And the reason why I brought it up, it talks about, you know, basically it's the person that plays golf that makes the fewest mistakes. It's the same thing in trading. You want to make as few as mistakes as possible. It's not the amount of money that you win. It's the amount of money that you don't lose. You don't want to get caught in the always, you know, shooting from the, uh, what do they call those things? The, uh, not the fairway, but the, the things behind the saddle. I'm not a very good golfer. I actually am a good golfer. I'm a two handicapper. I have a trouble with the long game, the short game, and the mental game. Let's move on here to just a little bit about this loser's game stuff. Tom Hugard wrote an article called The Best Loser Wins, oh my gosh, about a year ago. And it's probably the best article uh, I have read in a long time. Those of you that have not seen that article, uh, if you drop me an email, LarryPesavento at gmail.com, I'll uh, I'll send it on to you because it's it's really really good. It's uh, it's it's just a tremendous article talking about uh, you know why you have to always work on the defensive and uh, be worried about you know where your trade. See your trade starts once you put the order in because then you have to manage it. So that's a good thing. But if you do want that, uh, well you know what I'll do today. You know I think I could post this into the room. I guess at the break that's what I'll do. I'll post the article into the room and then you'll have it there. Those of you that are not in the room that are listening and you'd like to have it, just uh, email me, LarryPesavento at gmail.com. Include the $500 check, and I will get it out to you uh, just as soon as possible. Well, okay, you can forego the check. Speaking of Tom Hugard, I wanted to show you something that he was working on today uh, on his uh, in his telegraph room. I want to get this up here to show you. People uh, were talking about, you know, pattern recognition and uh, – Let's let's get up here. Yeah, Mr. Z, you're you're in a class by yourself, Bubba. That's for sure. Let's take a look here. Uh, this is a chart he was looking at. You see how he when the on the first bottom down there, there was absolutely no reason to think that could be a major bottom. But look, the second time you came down, you had a double bottom. So that's an effective pattern, and that's exactly what you want to be looking for. Find the little edge that works for you. That's basically, you know, the bottom line of what we're watching. Tomorrow we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest. Uh, remember, we had Tim Bost on on Monday, which was yesterday. Boy, that's a big mathematical improvement, isn't it? Anyway, uh, Tim said that he thought the market was getting ready to go uh, turn around here. Either today, I think today was the last day. This is the 23rd or 24th. Tomorrow's the anniversary of the big top in 1987, which led to the largest down uh, day in the history of the stock market. We were down 16%, uh, 500 and some points uh, on October 19th. And the next day, we made a lower low by just a few ticks. It was the major bottom of that decade, exactly at 61.8% of the low from August of 1982. And we have been going up ever since, and we have continued to go up ever since. Now, let's take a look at a couple of charts that we're following very, very closely. First of all, we had a very strong buy signal in corn the other day. I wanted to bring this up here and show you where we were. We went right down to that level. We took out the lows of July, just like we thought we would, by just about a penny. Uh, the buy was at uh, 5.30. We're now 15 cents higher in the in the crew in the um, corn. So hang on, we're looking for at least uh, 30 cents in that. So it's got to get up to around uh, that 5.60 level before we want to take profits. Uh, all we're doing now is we're managing our risk. We've got it lined up so we don't have to risk very much at all. Now, here is one from yesterday that we were looking at very, very closely. Uh, we focused on it in a video over the weekend, and we'll be able to see that. Uh, you folks, if you never studied the black market of uh, October 19th, 1987, you probably should. Here is the crude oil chart. Uh, we had a perfect ABCD down there at 62.05. The low was uh, 61.86. And today uh, we've had a very, very strong rally, 
In fact, what we were doing here is we were taking profits in this because uh, it came up a little too fast. It might go a lot higher, folks, but we went up to the 382 retracement there at uh, 67.42. We were ex expecting to take the profits in that crude oil because we, you know, that's a that's a big move, folks. Uh, six grand in two days. Uh, you just don't see that very often. Might might be getting out of it too soon, but you know, you got to go to the you got to dance with the girl that brings you to the dance, and that 382 has brought us to a lot of dances, and we certainly want to keep that going. Another one that looks really good, still working well, is the silver. You'll take a look here. We had that 61% uh, retracement down there at the 2290. We're now trading up around 2390, and a little bit more to the upside. If we can get above 24, we'll be looking at around 25 uh, $25 an ounce or 2480 something like that. Uh, gold, gold's taken out the 78% level at 812. That's just going sideways right now. It's very strange in gold to see a market that does this. Let's get this up here. Um, well, I don't have the gold. I'll have to do that one a little bit later. Sorry, boys and girls. Anyway, that's uh, another one. They're looking at the euros working uh, uh, relatively well. So if you're in that one, put your stop at break even. So you have the corn, euro, uh, the corn, euro, silver, and uh, corn, corn, <laughs> corn, euro, and silver. The crude oil is gone. We've taken profits in the crude oil. Now let's take a look here at Apple. We talked about this yesterday because I wanted to bring it up to your attention. Here is Apple on the half hour chart. Now you'll notice up there the 78% level, the ABCD is up around 150. The high today, I believe, was 150.15. That's what it was earlier. I don't know what it was. The last I saw, it was trading under 150, around 150, 149 and change. So there's a place where you have a really good place to handle your risk there. Because if it gets much above that 78% level, it tells you, and I mean by just a dollar. So it should be the high, high of the day in Apple should no, should be no higher than one. I'm just going to do it. 150. I was going to say 150.60, and Danny just told us the high was 150.86, and I believe the last price was 149 and change. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that's all about um, focusing on the risk, folks. That that's the whole thing of looking at the patterns. They're for risk control, uh, no more, no less. 149.87, so that's about right uh, on the Apple. Any move above 151 now will tell you that Apple's going to go up and make another new high, and we could continue going higher you know, for quite some time. That's a main thing that we want to be looking at. When we come to the break, I'm going to review some of the things that I learned from uh, Mark Douglas when he was writing the book, Trading in the Zone, here uh, in my office during 19. 96, 97, and 98, and uh, I think that uh, you will uh, you'll, you'll you'll enjoy some of these. So we've covered them before, but they're worth covering them again. The reason why I'm doing that is I had a a gentleman called yesterday that was a fan of Mark. He didn't know that Mark had passed away five years ago. But uh, he said, gee, that guy was really smart. And I said, yeah, I know he is because, you know, he sat there and worked with me for three years, and I, I watched it firsthand. And uh, he started out wanting to be a trader. He hasn't really traded yet. And believe it or not, he started with a disciplined trader and trading in his own. I said, you got a good start here, Bubba. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the inventor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted the chart of the E-mini S&P here uh, going back to Friday the 19th, If you know, Thursday the 19th. If you notice here, we had that really nice ABCD pattern finishing on Friday up there at 4, uh, 440. Uh, we stayed there. Uh, well, this is an hourly chart, so we stayed there for about three hours into the close. Sunday night, you'll notice that was the 22nd. We started to go higher, and I sent a video out saying if we get much above uh, 44, 46, I said this thing is probably going to make a new high. The only reason I said that was because it was clearing the 61% retracement, and it had no way of knowing what the high was going to be. But if you did the 1.618 expansion, that was at least going to take you to 44.70. And we got to 44.93 uh, last night. Uh, that was uh, because China came out right before the opening in Hong Kong and said uh, something about their lightening up a little bit on the uh, the Chinese stocks and stuff. Whatever the comment was, I don't know. But it caused the market to uh, jump up quite a bit in Hong Kong and then also uh, quite a bit in China, and that's when we had the 10 cent run, 10 10 handle run, in the E mini from 44, 43 to 43, 93. That's how we did it. This was all brought on, folks, uh, by the what was happening on Friday uh, in the uh, Hang Seng Index. I want to bring this up. You'll notice here on Friday, uh, we've talked about this before. I sent a video out about it, but you notice we got down to 24,600 on Friday, but we closed at 24,850. We rallied 250 points in the last hour. And folks, bear markets do not act like that. I mean, that that was telling you that you be, be careful because that could be a false breakout to the downside. And we've got all the way up to uh, 26,000 already uh, in just a couple of days. So we rallied 1,200 points in the Hang Seng and uh, the Chinese market has rallied too. And we've been tagging along because these markets, everybody that's in these markets are watching what's going on. And that that's what happens. These algorithm, algorithmic traders come in and you just can't stand in front of it. But let's take a look at something that we always like, and that's Mark's favorite pattern of all, AB equals CD, AB equals CD. That's all you need. That's all we always used to say. Taken here is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. This is the average, not the E-mini. I want you to go back to the 21st of June. You'll see we had an A point there. 
the B point on the 16th of uh, July. The 19th of July, we had a 78% retracement. Then we had an ABCD pattern measuring to 35,561. The high on the Dow Jones Industrial Index so far has been 35,612. I mean, can you? I don't know how you can make this up, folks, because that's pretty good. Now, we had a sharp down move to the 50% uh, retracement. That was on Friday, and then, you, uh, excuse me, on Thursday. Then we had the rally up yesterday, and it went right up to the 78% retracement, just spot on. And now that means that we have a possible divergence here because the others went into new high ground, but the Dow Jones didn't. Remember, this is a market of stocks. When you're dealing with the Dow Jones, you're dealing with about 15 of the 30 stocks. The rest of them are too low priced. The NASDAQ, of course, out of 100, you're looking at about 15 or 20. And the S&P 500, you're probably looking at about 40 or 50. So you figure there's about 100 stocks out there that are running the other 8,000. That's why you've got to be extremely careful, folks. It's a market of stocks and a stock market. You have to define you know, what you're looking at as you're watching these things unfold. But if you look at that Dow Jones chart for just a minute, let's just look what ABCD means. Not only do we have the ABCD leg matching perfectly, in price, if you'll defy human nature and do the work yourself, count the number of bars in the AB leg and then take it a step farther and count the number of bars in the CD leg. Voila, it's the same number. That means price and time are coming together. This is what Mr. Gann talked about when he talked about squaring price and time. So let's keep in mind that that's what we're that's what we're looking at right here. Someone's asked a question, uh, do I think gold has made a major bottom? I don't think there's any question about it, folks. We went from 17, excuse me, 1675. We've rallied over uh, $100 an ounce now. We're about $140 an ounce. That tells us that something has certainly happened. We happen to be uh, along the silver that's still acting OK. But, uh, you know, I think there has been a pretty big low made there in the silver market. Uh, I, I that that's my two cents worth. I, I hope that uh, understands, you know, what we're looking or what we're looking at for today. But that's uh, the main thing of watching this. When you see that perfect ABCD structure, you have to pay attention to it. Not only that, you don't even have to pick a top. You could sell the retracement back because it's taken three days to make a 78% retracement. So we're going to know here in a day or two whether this is going to be uh, correct or not. Just like we, when we're looking at Apple, we're assuming that these patterns are going to be working about you know, 60%, 60, 65, let's call it 61% of the time. And the other part of the time, you're going to have a couple of break evens and a couple of losses. And that's what you're, that's what you want to be watching for, for sure. So that's a, that's what we're paying attention to here as we look at these today. When we come up to the break, I'm going to be talking about uh, the, the four major fears that everybody in the room has been posting already fear of missing out, fear of being wrong fear of losing money and the fear of leaving money on the table. Folks, every one of those darn things you better get used to because they are the essence of why we trade. And there are no reason to be afraid of them. Fear means false evidence appearing real. That was from Mr. Anthony Robbins, and I still believe that he had it spot on as we were looking at. Someone's asked a question about the crude oil. I've got this up here. I want to be the question was, uh, why why get out of the crude oil when it's acting so strong? The, I just said the first the reason was we completed the ABCD. We had the 382 retracement up here at 6750. Uh, I don't know what the high was today, but 6750 was a 382 of that whole move. And that tells us that we want to be able to uh, at least book some big profits. That, that's a big profit, folks. However, if you went back into July and bought that low at the 78% level, it went from 60, it moved $9,000 before it turned down. Now, maybe this is going to be one of those, but if it is, what I'll be watching for is I'll go down to a 15-minute chart or half-hour chart, and I'll look for a pullback if I get one. If I don't get one, I have to be happy with what I have. I move on, you know, start focusing on the euro, start focusing on the corn, you know, start focusing on the uh, uh, the other trade that we have. So we have silver, corn, and um, what was the other one? Silver, corn, and the euro. Those are the ones that we want to be watching. So that's pretty much, you know, how I try to handle things. And this is unusual because we had four trades on. And, uh, you know, so we're lightening up today and seeing what uh, what's going on to what is moving on. Okay, let's uh, 
we're going to have a break here pretty soon. Someone's asked a question about Apple again. I, I'll bring the Apple chart up. It's the one I did late last night because I or yesterday because I assumed that we were. Hold on one second. Shut the front door and raise her in. Let's get this up here again. I was assuming that ABCD completed up there at about one one just about 150, but the 78% level was a little higher. That's why I wanted to see it. Now it got all the way up to 5080. 150.80, which is uh, about a 80 cents higher than the 78% level, but it immediately came down. It, it just didn't stay long above that. That validates that 78% level. But now above 151, you don't want to be short Apple, that's for sure. Let's take a break here. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I want to go over some of the things that I've learned from Mark Douglas over the years. I mean, I learned them firsthand. I met him in 83 in a, 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 a CompuTrack seminar in Las Vegas. And I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, I was uh, talking to him, and Larry Williams was standing there. He was giving a, a speech at that CompuTrack, and uh, 
I was still a member at the Merck, and I came out to Las Vegas with Byron so we could, you know, have a little bit of fun playing some poker and, you know, getting uh, listening to a couple of lectures and stuff. And I told Mark I was interested in listening to his lecture, and he said, you don't want to hear me. And I said, why? He said, I want you to go into that lecture over there. He said, spend your time over there. So I didn't know what it was. I, I went over, and it was John Bradford. He was a uh, motivational speaker, and his specialty, I guess, was abuse. And so I go into a room, and there's about 200 people in the room. 90% of them were women. There were only about 5 or 10% of the people were men. And I said, oh, dear, what am I going to do? And I saw boxes of Kleenex everywhere. Anyway, I sat through the first half of the day. It cost me 100 bucks. I sat through the first half of it, and it was so intense that, man, I tell you, I didn't realize how lucky I was. These people really, they had some serious problems. When I got back, I, I asked him, I said, why did you send me there? He said, for two reasons. One is, is you re don't realize how lucky you are at times. And I said, yeah, well, I, I always feel that way. And he said, well, just remember, it. not everybody is, is as lucky, you know, as you are. So you have to remember that and be thankful for it. And I certainly was. Later on, two years later, when I met uh, Anthony Robbins, you know, I got there, the quote, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and uh, which I which I certainly do. And I've been been blessed and I do try to pass it on. But uh, when I after I had this meeting with uh, Mark, actually, he was getting married that weekend, too. He and Paula got married. And so I attended the wedding. And then later on, when we went back to Chicago, we started hanging out. And what he had been, he had been with Merrill Lynch for a while. And Merrill Lynch had given him the accounts of over 10,000 people to study to see what they had done wrong. And so he had done a huge amount of work. I mean, he statistically looked at every single group of traders, the size of the account, how long they've been trading, all that kind of stuff. And basically, it came out to the point that about 80% of new, new traders will lose money. Now, those that stick with it over a period of time, whether it's two years, three years, five years, or whatever it is, they'll eventually stop making the mistakes that got them into trouble, and they will be profitable. But not many people, you know, they try it for, you know, a while, and they just never come back. But a lot of people do, and that's, uh, I happen to be one of those, and so is Mr. Z, and so is David, and so is Basil, and so is the two Tommies. I mean, everybody's done this. So that's what it was all about, is learning, you know, what you had done wrong. We had, he had found out that the, the key reason why people lost uh, in, in these Merrill Lynch accounts was the, the two reasons. They're the same reason. It's really strange. First of all, they used uh, a too, too tight of stops. That was the main reason. The second group that lost didn't use stops at all. It was all related to, to the risk that they were taking. They didn't know what the risk was. And that's the whole thing is uh, you know to focus on the amount of risk that you're taking because you don't know which ones are going to work. Nobody knows that. So that was the real key for me. I mean, look at that. I said, wow. I said, look at all these statistics. I said, so many of these people lose because they don't put stops in and the other people lose because they do put stops in. So you've got to find a place where you can figure out what you're looking at. Now, this led to – when he was writing the book, The Discipline Tater, it led to the, you know, the, the major fears, you know, the, 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 three, the four major fears, the fear of being wrong, the fear of losing money, the fear of missing out, and the fear of leaving money on the table. Now, Mark interviewed probably over the three years that he wrote that book here, he interviewed at least 35 or 40 really big-time traders that came here to be interviewed by Tom or by, by – uh, Mark. And so he would invite him out here and we would uh, spend a couple days and uh, interviewing and trading and stuff. And he would get a good feedback. And believe, believe it or not, the number one thing that these super these guys are really many of them are quite famous. W what they did was really, really amazing. Of those four fears, you, I was shocked when I figured it out what they said. And it was almost to the man. Their biggest fear was leaving money on the table. And to me, that was a real surprise because the only way you can't leave money on the table is if you get the high tick or the low tick. So stop and think about that. That That is really serious. I mean, it's, it's, it's silly because the fear of leaving money on the table means that if you don't get the high tick or the low tick, you're going to leave money on the table. That's, that's, that's normal. That's like breathing. So if, scratch that one off the list. The second one is the fear of missing out. Now, that's no big deal. There's always another bus coming down the road. You can always find another trade or another entry. That's that's a fear that you don't have to worry about. 
The fear of losing money, boy, get used to that one because that's what this is all about. Remember Warren Buffett's two rules. Rule number one, don't lose any money. Rule number two, don't break rule number one. Well, you've got to take a risk somewhere along the line, so that's really what you want to be doing. This is the one that I thought was going to be the most prevalent fear, and it certainly wasn't, and that is the fear of being wrong. And you shouldn't be afraid of that because you're going to be wrong some of the time. You're going to be right some of the time. One of my favorite baseball stories is Joe DiMaggio. They always talk about who is the greatest hitter, Ted Williams, batting 400 and stuff like that. But if you look at the statistics behind DiMaggio, it's really quite amazing. He played for 14 years for the Yankees, and uh, he struck out, uh, I believe, he struck out in, in the 14 years, I think he struck out 396 times, as I remember. It's very close to that, just right under 400. And during that 14 years, he hit 396 home runs. For every time he struck out, he hit a home run and another time at bat, maybe two days later, maybe the next bat, I don't know. But they, they were equal, one to one. Stop and think of Babe Ruth, folks. Babe Ruth was nine strikeouts to one home run. The great Willie Mays was one strikeout to six home uh, to uh, one one home run to six strikeouts. Henry Aaron, same thing, one one home run to six strikeouts. So uh, th that's how that's how good DiMaggio was. He had a hitting streak of uh, 56 games that has never been broken. The closest ever to it was uh, Pete Rose a few years ago, well, 27 years ago. He got to uh, game number 47. But what people don't realize about DiMaggio, on that 57th game, he was in Boston, and he hit three 400-foot line drives into the outfield that were caught for outs. And that was, uh, that was it. However, if you follow the statistics on that, he hit in another... 17 games in a row. That would have been 70 games in a row that he had a hit. So that's why he was such a great hitter. And I know there's a lot of people argue about, you know, but th those statistics, you, you can't find statistics like that. And, and we're in a statistic business. So let's pay attention to it, you know, to what we're watching is. The other thing that uh, Mark uh, would, would talk about with these traders is how they treated themselves. I mean, they really, I mean, of course, they bought them all. They all had little trinkets. They all had their Ferraris and Rolexes, whatever it was. But they really pampered themselves. You know, they would take time off. They would go for psychological counseling. Uh, some people had, uh, you know, later on, I found out that Mark had some of these guys were, were regular, were regular uh patients of his and he wasn't he wasn't a registered psychologist he was a trading psychologist so he spent all of his time you know on that so we'll be right back 877-927-6648 Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, and I believe we have a lucky caller. I don't know how he got through. Mike, are you there? Yeah, it was really tough getting in, Larry, with all the calls oh, ahead of me, but uh, they, put me, uh, they put me through. Oh, yeah. oh, well, you must have preferential treatment because Al said he didn't know how you could squeeze in. But what can I do for you, my friend? Larry, I, I heard you a little while ago talking about stops, and – I want to tell you something about about myself. I'm probably uh, I'm very good at when to enter a stock, and I'm pretty good at where to put a sell signal. But that in between, what I do is I'll get into a stock. Most of the time, I I've been trading intraday, like mm -hmm. on a ten and fifteen minute chart, and then I might use like a five minute to fine tune my entrance and exit. But my worst subject is stop placement there's so many times when it actually has saved me because i'll get into a stock and i'll have you know i'll have my plan in place where i want to get out mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i always use oco orders if i get into something immediately i put um my if i'm long i put my sell limit and then i put my stop in so that they're in at the same time but mm -hmm. what happens a lot of times I get stopped out. Um, you had Joe DiNapoli on your show a while back, and he was even pointing out that there's so many new algorithms out there that can seek stops and hit them. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, uh, I was wondering if you could give us all some good lessons on stop placements. I can tell you within about a gnat's patootie of what's wrong, Bubba, whether you're doing anything about it or not, it's going to be up to you. But my guess is you, you've already outlined that you've got a good trading plan set up. You said exit, entry, stop loss, everything is done. What's happening, my best guess is, Mike, you're looking at the market too much. And what happens is you're looking at the market and you're, you know, you have a $3 profit in something and then all of a sudden you're giving back a dollar and a half and then you start to move your stop a little bit. You change your game plan in the middle of the road and that's, you don't want to do that. Just, just put your game plan in and the one thing that I highly recommend for anybody that trades, if you're trading the euro, go look at live hogs or something. Don't look at the euro because no one cares whether you're looking at the euro or not. And you watch the prices go up and then you watch the prices go down. And that's what affects your trading and your thinking because money, once money gets involved in the, in the situation, you're in big trouble. And that that's my guess. I don't know if I'm right or not, but if I, I've heard Mark, Mark give that – discussion more than once so my guess is you're just looking at the market a little too much during the day and that's what's causing you to look at if you put a 30 minute chart out there on the stock that you're doing keep it on 30 minutes don't 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 go down to a a five minute or 15 minute you've, you've done okay. a good job setting your plan out just follow your plan 
That's all you have Already. to do is don't look at that. That monitor is not your friend. It's a, it's, a, it's a psychological indication of everything that's going on in your life. So don't watch it. Just put go watch something else. If you're in a stock, go watch, uh, you know, live hogs or natural gas or something. Just don't watch what you're looking at because no one's watching it for you. So just forget about it and follow your plan. That's what I would suggest you do. All right. Love, love try to implement some of what you just said but like i said a lot of times sometimes i'll have the plan in place i'll get a really good entry and i'll do the projections of where i want my you know sell limit to be you know if i'm uh -huh. long and um you know then what i usually do is like i'll come back and uh, periodically i'll i'll move i will move the stop up and uh, a lot of times it's helped me to capture profits because a lot there's been times where I, I look at something and have the best plan in the world out there and it never hits my my sell limit. It might only get about half or three quarters of the way up and then reverse. And then if I didn't have a tight stop, then it would have given it all back. But mm -hmm. sometimes when I have a tight stop, of course, it helps me to capture some profits. So. But yeah, I, yeah. I will try to implement, um, you know, just focusing yeah. on the chart that I set the plan up with to begin yeah. with and leave yeah. it at that. Let, let me give you one other little tidbit of advice. OK, don't be hard on yourself, Mike. I mean, you can't be perfect. You know, all those four fears, you're going to run into those every day. So if it happens, you know, shake it off. You know, get in the batter's box and get ready to see another pitcher come up because uh, you don't you don't have to worry about that. Just go to the next one. Just don't beat yourself up, you know, second guessing because second guessing is exactly what it is. It's second and it's guessing. So right. don't do that either. And that and that's what I the way I'm set up, I have, a, um, you know, uh, professional trading account where I can day trade. I can get in yeah. and out as many times as I want to, and I don't. I don't have to get married to a particular stock. So, um, so you know. Yeah. And what I try to do is I narrow it down to like maybe five, four or five stocks <clears throat> that I focus on. And um, I know that uh, some people they have so many they're they miss the opportunities and everything, but. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll try to implement what you just told me and see if that helps me out. Well, good. Well, you first of all, you got a lucky streak going because you were one of the few people to get through today. There you go. You're halfway <laughs> home. <laughs> all right. Hey, and I did make thank, some profits today. So uh, I was there in one. It was uh, symbol LPI. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, it was a great day. And it's always good talking to you because you teach us so much, Larry. You've got well, all these years of experience, and, uh, you know, I, I love listening to your show. You have great guests on, Tim Boss, and mm -hmm. and um, when do you think you'll have Joe DiNapoli on again? He's uh, he's recovering from uh, uh, some surgery. As soon as he's feeling better, he'll be on, but he's recovering from surgery. But he'll be on probably in a month or so, maybe. All right, great. Well, thanks for everything you do, and talk to you later. Okay. I'll send that $20 to you today, Mike, as soon as I get off the air, okay? Okay. okay, you can use PayPal if you want this time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, folks. So Mr. Z has asked us to take a look at the crude oil, why we were looking at it over the weekend. There were three things to tell us that uh, the crude oil was at a pretty good bottom. The, course, the first was the ABCD. You notice a three drive to a top pattern on the four-hour chart. That was back on July the 5th. The whole world said it was going to $80. And we knew that the only way it could get the $80 was to get above 77 and it couldn't do that. Then we came down, and the short sale was right there at 74.36. That was at the 7.86. We wrote it down to 69 and change. Uh, we tried to sell the 382 rally at 69.80. You only got the 69.50, and then we completed the ABCD. And this is why we were so important. You'll notice here they'd have made a little bit lower low on Sunday night, which was right at that $62 level. We went below the magical $62 uh, a barrel by 13 cents. The low was, I believe, 62.87, 18 cents. And then since that time, we rallied seven handles. We went all the way up to 67. I don't know, last I saw it was 67.50. It's probably going to go higher, but, uh, you know, we decided this is where we wanted to book profits today. So that's what we were looking at there. What we were looking at, you'll notice at 
63 up there. Uh, you'll see that today. That was uh, what we were looking at for today's high. That was the 382 retracement of the whole move down. And with that type of a move, you don't see that big a move. We saw one, of course, it was $9,000. But frankly, we're just going to take a couple bucks here. We're going to take a break. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks. Uh, remember, we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest tomorrow. I've been asked to talk about soybeans. I put up a 15-minute chart. Uh, on the soybeans. This is what we were looking at for Sunday night. We were trying to buy the beans down at 1289. They only got down to 1291. So we didn't get filled in there. The, the corn was filled okay, but the beans missed this by a little bit. And as you can see, they've had a pretty big run up and it's completing an extended ABCD leg now, probably getting up around the 1355 level. That should hopefully push, hopefully, hate that's a terrible trading word. Yeah, well, anticipating maybe we'll get a little bit higher. Uh, in the December corn because it's starting to move uh, uh, pretty nicely now. You don't want that corn to go to a loss now, folks, because it has a 17 cent profit and uh, you don't pick up $750 in corn too often. So make sure that that doesn't go to uh, go to a loss. So those are just a few. Now, Mr. Z is asking, did we buy the 
by the uh, oil, uh, crude oil on Sunday night? And the answer to that was yes. I sent out a video early Sunday morning and saying, you know, this is where we have to be looking at it. So pay attention to it Sunday night. And Sunday night it opened slightly lower, about 20 or 30 pips, and immediately took off. But you had plenty of time to put the order in. I mean, sometimes I know you don't on these things, but uh, we get them out to you as fast as we can. But sometimes they just don't, you know, work the way that you uh, think that they're going to work on. I hope you enjoyed that section about uh, Mark Douglas because I'm going to be doing more and more. Uh, September coming up pretty soon. Uh, we This is the month we lost him. It was also his birthday month. He was born on the 27th of September. So I'll be doing more and more psychological stuff from the things I've learned through Mark over the 30 years that I knew him because uh, he really had a lot to give. And boy, he was one smart guy. I don't know if you folks know this, but for every page that he wrote in a book, he wrote those two big books, Discipline Trader and Trading in the Zone. For every page that he wrote, folks, there were 10 pages of stuff behind it. That's how he refined it over and over again till every word would get right down to the essence of uh, you know what he really tried to say. And that's why he was so good at it. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.